I used to have a terrible snoring problem. I would wake myself up at night. I would wake up whoever was in the room with me. I would have terrible dry mouth to the point where I was drinking water every time I woke up. And I would wake up in the morning with really bad breath. And this overall was disrupting every night's sleep. And it was all due to mouth breathing. The problem is bigger than you think. And this is why mouth breather is kind of a derogatory term. It contributes to poor sleep. It contributes to poor oxygenation. And during your sleep, uh, for some, sleep apnea, which is really a terrible condition. So stick around until the end of the video and I'll tell you the simple technique that I've used to stop snoring and stop mouth breathing. What we're aiming for is nasal breathing, slow, whisper-like nasal breathing. And this is gonna help oxygenate your tissues more efficiently and your organs more efficiently and clear up brain fog. All sorts of benefits come through nasal breathing. The common misconception related to overbreathing. So you hear a lot of people talking about deep breaths and deep exhales and okay, uh, it's probably good in some instances, but overbreathing will push out more CO2 than what's needed, right? So when you've got less CO2 in your body, what happens is that it's got the opposite effect. It will constrict your blood vessels, it will affect your heart function, and it will impact your blood pH. So nasal breathing solves this. The other thing nasal breathing does for you is nitric oxide is actually created in the nasal cavity. Uh, so nitric oxide or NO is to be thought of as like Viagra for your entire body. It dilates everything, opens up your blood vessels and helps oxygen and nutrients and everything else move more freely. On top of mouth breathing, the other problem that we're suffering from in society today is smaller jaws. And our ancestors had much bigger jaws, much better jaw alignment. Today, with the use of sippy cups and soft processed foods and even you know, sinus conditions that contribute to more people just with their, their mouth hanging open. I've got tons of sinus conditions. I've made videos about that. Just check on the channel and you can see uh, this is sort of what's led me to go down the road of, you know, how do I breathe better all the time? Finally, uh, these interruptions throughout the night, yeah, they're, they're going to have an impact on your health overall. Uh, in a, a very extreme case, you may have sleep apnea. So the, mouth, the stopping of the mouth breathing can help cure, clear up sleep apnea. But if you really want to test if that's what you have, even after you've gone through the technique that I give you, I suggest getting a pulse, pulse oximeter, um, a continuous pulse oximeter. This way you can check your blood oxygenation levels throughout the night and see if the oxygen level actually drops. I wear the Aura Ring every single night when I sleep because I'm obsessed with data. This is definitely the, the strongest tool I've found to track sleep data. It's got a built-in pulse oximeter here. It's a newer feature. Um, so if you had an old one and haven't upgraded the app, it's in there. Check it out. I don't work for Aura. I just think it's a great product. Uh, the other thing that you can do is get a sleep test. So just talk to your doctor about a sleep test. But let's get back to how we solve the mouth breathing. It's actually a fairly simple solution. We need to get our jaw back into alignment. Now, how do I do that? It's with mouth tape. You don't need anything special to start with. You can simply get some 3M medical tape. Just make sure that it's hypoallergenic. This is what I started with. And all you do is, yeah, tape it over your mouth. I would suggest if you're using the 3M tape, maybe put a little bit of coconut oil on your lips or some olive oil because this tape is a bit stickier <clears throat> than most and it may hurt if you have to take it on and off. The other thing I would suggest is wearing it for about a half hour or so before you go to sleep to see uh, that you're comfortable with it on. Uh, some people think they're going to freak out, so this helps alleviate that. I've since moved on uh, to 
a formal product. Uh, it's these strips. They're called Simply Breathe. Uh, it was developed by a dentist and they've got these pre-cut strips. They're really fantastic. I use them every single night. You're going to find that it's really easy to adapt to this. And I've got no issues now with my breathing at night, uh, even with sinus issues. I mean, I do a lot of sinus care to make sure that my nasal passages, even if just one is open, I will use the tape because it's way better than snoring all night and not getting any sort of rest. Uh, but yeah, every single night I use these and I learned how to use them pretty quickly to the point that when I put the mouth tape on now, it sends a signal to my brain that it's time to go to sleep and I'm normally fast asleep uh, in less than three minutes. And I know that because the ring tells me how long it takes me to go to sleep each night. I even use these on airplanes. Uh, people may look at you funny, but like, I don't care because I'm getting a, a good rest on the airplane. People are going to think that you're a little crazy. If you tell them that you're taping your mouth at night, I wouldn't listen to them either. So that's it. I told you it was super simple. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can leave me a comment. If you thought this was useful, please give me a like. And if you'd like more biohacks like this, just give me a follow.